Catching and finishing around the back. Ryan Anderson guards Gasol. Mark sends it and scores it. Just like that. What a night he had in Detroit. Brother. Has been inconsistent. Gasol, tough catch, pretty finish. Four of 61 outing against New Orleans. Randolph. Volume and accuracy. Gasol against Ryan Anderson. What a pretty play by Gasol. Twisting and turning and getting the finish to put the Grizzlies. Taking advantage of situations. Troy Daniels on the feed to Gasol, guarded by Ryan Anderson. They find Conley. Open jumper. Good again. Nice set play there. You throw it into the post. Everybody's worried about Mark Gasol. With a nice pin down. Isolation post up with Gasol. 10 to shoot. Double. TA for three. than what they did last season. A lot better chemistry. Yeah, they uh, made some personnel changes and it's really paid off. Gasol rings the bell off the top of center. And Dwight Howard, Jermichael switches out on Beverly. 10 to shoot. Conley goes down. Anderson blocked by Jermichael Green and Marcus Gasol called for a foul. to have nice action to get the teams flowing away from where you would like to go. And you see Jermichael Green taking Montrezl Harrell underneath the bat. Harden. Harrell over Gasol and Mark forced to miss. Rebounded by Jermichael. Just that extra second to not allow the pass to be thrown to Harrell allows Mark Gasol to get back defensively. Harrell gambles on the steal and Gasol is fouled and will go to the free throw line. So much of what you have to do defensively, Brevin, I'm guessing against Houston, is knocking them off rhythm because they're such a rhythm offensive team. Yeah, you see the steal attempt there allows Mark to get to the basket. You're, you're exactly right. You just want their rhythm to be just... Should end just about every time. Six Grizzlies turnovers turned into 14 points. Yeah, because they'll, they'll make threes, too. Carroll fouled by Gasol. The third foul on Gasol. Eric Gordon has returned to the Houston lineup. Gasol wants to post up. There's the delivery out of the double team. And a pretty play to James Ennis. Gasol, his fourth for Houston here in the third with 13. Gasol, his fourth assist. James Ennis with seven off the bench. Gordon on the give back. And out of bounds to Houston. Uh, quickly, that 15 point lead for the Grizzlies has gone away and an opportunity to see. <laughs> against Anderson. And Anderson called for the foul. Fourth foul on Anderson. Patrick Beverly about to return for Houston. Team foul situation. Grizzlies have two. Rockets have three. Beverly in. Harrell out. They've gone way small. Um, the Rockets... The good thing is that Jermichael Green is a good enough of athlete that he can be involved, but they want to get Marcus Saul try to get him involved in the screen and roll situation with Anderson on the other end. And foul called on Gordon here that put Gasol at the line of the Rockets. The Rockets have made 18. Gasol rolls to the rim and dunks. Pretty delivery by Conley. Seven point. Anderson, this is well off the mark. Ball to the floor, Beverly, Conley's got it, and calls for time. And now Beverly getting into it with Conley after the timeout had been granted. The Grizzlies coaches making sure that no players leave the bench area. We had said Beverly is an instigator, and sure enough, there it is. Oh, 
Time he's got it calls for time and then a tug around the neck. Now I believe the referees will look at this because it would be considered a player altercation. Timeout is granted. There's a grab around the neck, completely uncalled for, and that's just that's just, that's just dirty play by Beverly. Exactly. Conley guarded by Ron Anderson. Carter steps out. Vince for three. Long rebound. Beverly and Gasol go to the corner, and it's out of bounds. Which way? It's awarded to Houston, but this can be reviewed and most certainly will be. I got to be honest. You know, I think the reason why Beverly was not called. Jermichael threw it off. Was Jermichael's foot? Let's see if Jermichael's right. His foot is out of bounds when he does it. We'll see from that angle. Well, let's let's go back to the original Beverly play, Brevin. I, I'm guessing technical foul because it was a dead ball situation. Exactly. Yes, I, I, that's probably the reason why. I can't see Jermichael's foot. He definitely throws it off of Beverly. He goes up in the air. No, he's, he's, in he's in bounds and then throws it off Beverly. Yes. Should be Grizzly ball. He almost come up the screen. Out of the double. Gasol. No look. Tony Allen. Gasol. And a foul call. Foul on Harden is number five. It's a good foul by James Harden because if he doesn't foul in that situation, either Tony Allen makes the layup or Mark Anderson. Step back three. No, boarded by Gasol with 5.2 and foul by Patrick Beverly. 